Oh, that's a bite. Oh my God. Big fish. Big fish, big fish. Holy cow. What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here and welcome back to another fishing adventure. Some tells me there's a good time coming. Just wait and see. You got to put a little faith in something. Might as well be with me. I'm very nervous for this episode because I'm heading to a spillway that is nearly two hours away. And on my last trip out there, I caught one little fish. So needless to say, I am hoping the fishing is a little bit better today. I have finally made it to the spillway. And I don't know guys, last time I was here, the water was the highest that I've ever seen it. This time, it is the lowest that I've ever seen it. Today's episode of the Weird Grocery Store Bait Challenge is going to feature a frozen burrito. When I picked this out at the grocery store, I did not realize that this was a vegan burrito. So we are going to attempt to catch some vegan fish out here beneath this spillway. I also brought some frozen carp and some night crawlers. Let's go ahead and dive into this burrito. The outside looks uh, pretty standard as far as burritos go. It smells pretty good. Hopefully the fish will think the same. All right, the inside of the burrito. Okay, so it's got corn. That should help attract some fish. And I'm not exactly sure what the rest of that is. Let's give it a shot. Okay, I'm a little nervous. I don't know if this is going to stay on the hook. All right, let's make a nice, gentle cast. Here we go. Okay, I think it stayed on the hook. I'm actually seeing signs of fish. I have no idea what species of fish. Hopefully, we'll be able to find out. Fish on. All right, guys. First catch, a healthy little bluegill. I should probably keep this guy as bait, but I brought so much with me, I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. See you later, buddy. There's a bite. All right, guys, something picked up the bait. All right, here we go. Fish on. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, it feels heavy. Feels really heavy. What in the world did I catch? What? No way. No. Oh, you guys. Darn it. It is a giant red ear slider. Look at the size of that thing. Jeez. Well, this is not what I was hoping to catch at all. There we go. Okay, got the hook. <laughs> there he goes. See you later, buddy. Right away, I could tell that the creature is beneath this spillway. All right, a lot more active today. Hopefully, some monsters still remain. Big fish right in front of me, guys. Oh, he ate my bait. He missed it. All right, he's eating it. I'm gonna give him a second to eat and then set the hook. No way. That was a really nice size fish. Okay, he stopped swimming. I think he's eating the bait, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for the hook set. Wish me luck, guys. No, no way. That was a really nice short nose gar. They take forever to actually swallow the bait. I thought he was eating it. Not quite, not quite, not quite, not quite. And it is another bluegill. I'm actually running low on bait. I've had what I believe to be turtles munching on my bait the entire day. So I'm gonna keep this guy as bait. 
and it looks like he swallowed the hook anyways. I've got this big bluegill head on my hook. Here we go. Fish on. Oh, nice fish. <gasps> it's off. It's off, it's off, it's off, it's off. I've been out here all day. Finally, finally had a really nice fish on the end of my line. And just like that, it was gone. That's so frustrating. I am hoping I get another chance. That's a fish. That is a fish. Please stay on. 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 This thing was picked up as soon as it hit the water. It's right here in front of me. Yes. 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 Oh my gosh. It just came unhooked in my net. Monsters do exist in this spillway. I've seen signs of them. I've even had them on the end of my line, but I finally got one inside my net and it has taken all day. What an awesome looking bow fin. See you later, buddy. That bow fin was nowhere near the size of my personal best bow fin, but I am so pumped to have caught that fish because this spillway has been a struggle recently. My last trip out here, I caught one little fish after an entire day of fishing. Today has been a struggle as well. I am so happy I was finally able to catch a decent sized fish from beneath this spillway. I am hoping the fishing picks up as the sun sets. That bow fin was a very good indicator of that. Hopefully we'll be able to catch another. There might be something on here, guys. I'm oh, hooked into something. No. Dang it. Well, these guys have been messing with my bait all day long. There are so many turtles out there. Let's get this guy unhooked and send him back on his way. That came out pretty easy. See you later, buddy. Hey, I just caught a little crappie. Awesome. See you later, buddy. Oh, that's a bite. Oh my God. Big fish, big fish, big fish. Holy cow. Please stay on. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was just starting to pack my stuff up. Something crushed this bait. It's right here in front of me. I have not seen it yet. Oh! There we go! Dang! That is a decent little channel catfish. This dude absolutely crushed the bait. This guy felt so much bigger on the end of my line. He was a crazy fighter. See you later, buddy. It's getting late. I am out of bait and I have a two hour drive back home. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it. But today ended up being a pretty decent day of fishing, especially compared to my last trip out here. I was actually able to catch some fish. Not only that, I caught a couple decent ones and I lost an absolute 
monster. I was terrorized the entire day by turtles, but I still had a lot of fun. And in the end, the burrito was a complete failure. If you guys enjoyed this episode, I'd really appreciate it if you left a thumbs up, possibly think about subscribing if you haven't. I will catch you guys on the next one. That's a, there we go, fish on. It is a stick fish. Sling definitely had it though. That is so frustrating. What am I hooked into? Well, I caught me a stick fish. Dang it. <laughs>